I already recorded the first part of this video, but unfortunately while it was recording, I took the memory card outside without stopping the actual recording, and therefore I lost the entire file. So let me just quickly recap what was going on. Let me show you first. The Pezzolateria Regalis in this enclosure, she molted, and as you know, she's huge. Also other huge tarantula that I have is this Pezzolateria Ornata, or as all of you named her, Elvira. So these two tarantulas are definitely the biggest one in the dark den, but I'm not sure exactly which one is the biggest, but now since Regalis molted, and I had her mold here in this mold compartment, you see here is where I keep all the old molds, majority of them. We can now compare these two and see which one is bigger. Why is this so bright? The settings are currently automatic, but it's like they don't always work as they should. Anyway, in theory, by comparing their last two molds, we should see which one is bigger, unless one of them gained more size during the mold. I mean after the mold. You understand what I want to say, right? And also look who molted. The giant Asian mantis. This is his mold. And you see it is a male. And you see it is a mature male and not really that big. Size is basically around how native mantis get big the females so if this was a female of giant asian mantis it would be much much bigger so unfortunately this male doesn't have a long life in front of him so i don't know how much for how long they live after they mature but i know it's not that much oh and look who is outside i have seen recently comments asking if, if i still have the tortoise and you see eight is right here but he spends a lot of time in his hide so he's not always visible and at the moment he is munching on his food <laughs> okay, let's carry on with this video. In preparation for measuring the molds, I had to do one thing. You know, unless you manage to, to take a fresh tarantula mold, the mold will dry and you won't be able to spread it without breaking it. And since all of molds here are, are already dry, I had to do something so I can spread them easily and without breaking them. And that, as you see, I have a box that was closed with tissue that are really really damp with water of course so there was super high humidity inside and that softens the molds up so you are able to spread them with relative ease spread more or less so this is Pezzolateria regalis mold all nice and spread this is Elvira's mold and also for just good measure I took out Pezzolateria rufulata and Pezzolateria vitata. We will spread them and see how big they were before they molted. Let's measure these two. So Pezzolateria regalis, exactly 17 centimeters. I will write how many inches that is. And Pezzolateria ornata, Elvira, almost 18, 17 and a half. So yeah, looks like Elvira is bigger. Woohoo! Now we know. And we will also check that once again on the next mold. Let's see how big vitata was. 15 and a half and Rufilata 16 so she's also really close really close to Regalis there now we know everything <laughs> and that was all for this actually we can open one box I received it yesterday and I don't want to wait for another video to unbox it so I will just take a sneak peek I mean not sneak peek I will completely see what's inside my petco monster can oh from amy yeah she tweeted me that she got a monster can that i don't really have look that's the one that i don't have thank you amy this is going on the shelf and that was all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe it is almost like a rapping game i mean a rap song see you again soon Bye bye